Hi, this is an example to show you how to apply Green's theorem to evaluate a quantum integral. Suppose you want to evaluate 2x x plus y dx plus x squared plus xy plus y squared dy over the quantum c, where c is around the square with vertices at 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1. Let's look at the quantum first. The quantum c is actually around the circle, around a square, with four corners, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1. And it looks like this. So this is how the quantum looks like. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, and 0, 1. So the quantum actually moves in this way. Right? So the direction of the movement of the quantum is in a positive sense. Right? Positive sense where the when you travel around the quantum, yeah, the area interested is always in on the on the left side of the direction of travel. Alright, so this is A here. Note that C is a simple closed curve. Right? C in this case is a simple Close curve. Close being endpoint beginning the same. Simple means there is no self intersection. So, according to the Green's theorem, Green's theorem says that the around the integral p dx plus q dy on the contour integral is equal to double integral over a d q dx minus dp dy integrate that dx dy so in this case i must find out what is p what is q and the partial derivative so in this case the p is equal to this expression p is this one this is going to be the p dx here and q will be this. Alright, so let's start from the first page. P will be 2x times x plus y. Q will be x squared plus xy by y squared. So, now I need to find out what is dp dy. Differentiate p with respect to y. Now, differentiate p with respect to y when differentiate x squared with respect to y and differentiate 2xy with respect to y. Now, if you x, and you do partial derivative, your x is treated constant. So, differentiate 2xy will be 0 because you treat x constant. Or, on the other hand, because on x is treated constant, so you can put 2x out, pull out 2x and differentiate y and get differentiate y with respect to y, you get 1. The answer will be 2x in the end. Now we also have to find out where is dq dy, dq dx, sorry. Now dq dx is differentiate x squared with respect to x, and differentiate xy with respect to x, and differentiate y squared with respect to x. Now, now when you differentiate with respect to x, you treat y constant. That means y will be treated as constant fixed kind of number. So therefore, we differentiate x squared, we know you're going to get 2x. Differentiate x, y, we can pull out the y first and differentiate x. Since x is constant, y is constant now, differentiate y squared will be 0 since y is constant now. And this is 2x again, plus y, since differentiate x with respect to x is 1. So I have dp dy is 2x, dq dx is 2x plus y. Now, according to the Green's theorem, say that the contour integral is equal to dq dx minus dp dy and I know that dq dx is equal to 2x plus y and dp dy is 2x. Let's check again. Right, dp dy is 2x, dq dx is 2x plus y. So there will be a lot of cancellation. So that will be y dx dy. Now, Let's find the limit of integration. When you fill the limit of integration, you should fill in the limit for y first. Now, since the outer limit is for y, so this is for y. 
So where is the possible value of y for a? Now notice that the value of y inside a is y equal to 0 all the way to y equal to 1. So you can feel y equal to 0 to 1. Then afterward, you're going to fill in the let limit for x now. So what are the value of x in this case for the region? The value of x in this case for region, you can see if you have a square. The value of x go from x equal to 0 all the way to x equal to 1. All right? So this is x equal to 0 to 1. So in the end, the limit or integration you can fill in is y from 0 to 1, x from 0 to 1, integration of y, dx dy. Now when you do the integration, you do the inner integration first. You do the inner integration first, that means that you should do the inner one, that means that integrating y with respect to x. Now you treat integrating with respect to x and then what you do is treat y constant now y constant. So you, when you do the in, inner integral, inner integral is here, this one, you treat y constant, so after integration, you get y times x, and you're putting the limit of x now, x from 0 to 1. Right? When you do the inner integral, so you put x equal to 1, you are going to get y. We put x equal to 0, you get 0. So you end up is y dy. So integrating y dy, you use the power rule, integrating y power n, you get y power n plus 1. So integrate, in particular, integrate y, you get y squared over 2. So this will be y squared over 2, integrating from 0 to 1. When you put y equal to 1 inside, you get 1 over 2. When you put y equal to 0 inside, you get 0 over 2. So answer is half. Therefore, the contour integral by applying the Green's theorem, answer is half. That is the end of the recording.